So if the fundamental question of strategy is why do some firms outperform others, there are kind of two different schools of thought about how you get the answer to that question. The first is the industry um, or the industrial organizational economics view, which says that really industries are what differ a lot on profitability, not so much firms. The other is the firm level view, which is uh, how does a firm deploy its resources? And that explains a lot of the variation, if you will, in the performance of the firms. I'm going to call up a couple of stock charts to illustrate this uh, for you. At least I hope I am. I hope I don't goof myself up when I do this. So this is the stock traces from uh, the past five years for United Airlines is the blue line, uh, Southwest is the brown line, Delta is the red line, and the green line is U.S. Airways. You'll see that the stock stopped trading here, and that was because uh, it was preparing for its merger with American Airlines. And the point of this is, according to the I.O. School, you'll see that all of these firms tended to move pretty much together. When one is up, they're all up. When one is down, they're all down. And so that would be the industrial organizational economics view, which is what industry you are in, tends to explain a lot of your profitability. Of course, there's variations between them, the firms, but you could argue they're not all that significant. A lot of the variation occurs very early on, and if I were to capture it more in this area and start the trace there, things would look very similar. But isn't it interesting that the airline that most people talk about being the best airline going, that would be Southwest, in this five-year snapshot is actually the lowest performing airline, substantially below, say, what United Continental has done. The other view is the uh, resource-based view of the firm, and I'm going to illustrate it with this stock chart. The blue line is the Ford Motor Company line. Green is Honda. Red is Toyota Limited, but you'll notice it didn't really begin to trade until about there. And the brown line is GM, and again, because of its bankruptcy, it didn't begin to trade until right in here. But the point is, even if I just stack up Ford and Honda, look what happened in this time frame relatively stable for Honda, but man, Ford just climbing to the moon. And again, a lot of this is based on what happens back here. So the resource-based view of the firm says, see, not all firms in the industry perform similarly. There are times where some firms in an industry perform very differently than its competitors. And the answer to that question in their mind is how did the firm deploy its resources? So let's look at Ford in particular in this era. <clears throat> a resource-based person would say the key resource here was the new leader, uh, Alan Mullally is his name, the new CEO that Ford brought on board uh, shortly before the econo economy crashed in 2008. And he was significant because he was not a car industry guy. He was, in fact, the first non-car guy or gal, now that uh, GM is going to have a lady, uh, to ever lead a major auto manufacturer. Because of that, Mullally made several decisions in the 2007-2008 time frame that when the economy did crash, Ford was recognized as being the company that was positioned to do the best in this new world, whereas a lot of the longtime competitors were expected to, uh, you know, not so much. And so we see this very different return for Ford in this time frame. So the resource-based view would say <clears throat> it's not just what the industry happened in the industry, or maybe even not primarily what's happened in the industry, but what's happening in the firm is also important. 
And in an undergraduate class, I'd trick them up and say, well, which one, which one do you agree with? And the obvious answer to that, which as a graduate, I would not expect you to fall into that trap of asking the question, which do you think is right is, well, it's both of them. And even Porter, in the, uh, in the updated article I had you uh, read, uh, will have you read for uh, an explanation of the basic IO economics in Porter's Five Forces, he brings in a lot of RBV thinking into his update because he recognizes that there is a lot of firm level variation in profitability. So those are the basic fundamental approaches to why do firms outperform others and you'll see us uh, talking about them in the weeks to come. But let's talk about some of these other attributes of strategy and to do that I'm going to stop and we'll start in a new video.